Bringing you the most interesting conversations from Flame 2017. With me now is Tim Gould from the IEA. Tim, you're, you look ahead. You look ahead at different markets and the way things will change and evolve. Um, challenges for the gas industry. How, how do you see the industry panning out? So the, the sorts of things that we look at are, is it going to be affordable? And that really depends where in the world you are, because gas is one of those fuels that is quite expensive to transport. So if you're near a big resource, as you are in Russia, in the Middle East, in the United States, um, gas can come in at a level that is, is really very competitive with other fuels and technologies. If you're importing gas over large distances, as is the case for Europe, but particularly for some of the large emerging economies in Asia, then the affordability of the question becomes um, a little bit more challenging, especially when you have relatively cheap coal and um, the falling cost of, of renewables. So gas, the gas industry is going to have to work hard um, for those markets in, in the future. And when you say those markets, you're talking about the, the Indias, China, that those areas in what, sort of 2030, 2040? Yeah, the India, China. India, China at the moment, um, the share of gas in their, in their energy mix is around 5%, 6%. I mean, that compares with the global average just above 20. So there's clearly a lot of room for them to grow. Um, the question is, are they going to have the infrastructure in place and some of the policies in place um, that allows that to happen? Um, if you look over the longer term, then decisions to build new infrastructure, you need some good visibility on, on, your, on your future gas demand, maybe 15, 20 years ahead. And there are some uncertainties over you know, how strong the push from governments will be to decarbonize and what's going to be the role of gas in that because at least initially, the gas would, gas would play a very positive role in, in many sectors. Um, but in the end, it is a fossil fuel. So, you know, there are some doubts in people's minds over, you know, how long that bridge is for gas to, to play a role in, 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 in the future of global energy. And when you look at the infrastructure, and with infrastructure, I also include policy infrastructure as well. Do you think there actually is a will to get either from the industry or from regulators gas in there for, for that sort of a bridging term? I think there certainly is and I think there's very good reasons to be looking at gas as a solution to some of the, 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 the challenges that countries face. I mean it's a very versatile fuel, it can be used in many different parts of your energy economy. Um, it's uh, of course amongst the fossil fuels it's, it's the cleanest. Um, it has very low particulate emissions and very low emissions of other pollutants so if you have a big urban area and fast growing country um, and your citizens are demanding um, cleaner air, you know, gas could, could easily become part of your preferred mix in those, under, those, uh, under those circumstances. Um, but you still need to get that value chain working, you still need to get all of those different elements lined up in order for it to happen. How, how much do you think the, uh, the, the pollutant side of this will play into it? Because pollutants is what, the, the fourth biggest killer of people? So right now, um, poor air quality is the fourth largest um, cause of premature death worldwide um, and that's about six and a half million premature deaths each year um, and that's a mixture of outdoor pollution and also the pollution that you get in many developing countries from burning um, you know, traditional biomass as a cooking fuel. Uh, gas for all of these in all of these areas can be can, can, can make a big improvement in people's lives so yeah that's a, that's an important consideration. Tim, thank you very much for speaking to us. Great pleasure, thank you. Thank you.